If you are on the school board and the board is in disagreement over an issue, how do you employ strategy to make your position known while maintaining your diplomacy? Anyone? <laughs> this is um, this has been a, it's, it's been a, it's um, it's been a great it's been a great subject and, and unfortunately I've, I've yet to be on kind of the losing side of the divisive vote and and mo most of the <laughs> and um, and most of the uh, people uh, most of all almost all our votes are unanimous because you know, first off you know we you, you, first off you understand what's really important. And, and you understand what's important, and important is the kids. And I think we all have kids in school and that are on the current board. And so we, we think of that in, in mind and when we're making decisions. And we really try, try and work and just, be, and just be a good listener. And, and that's one of the things which I really try to do is just listen, you know, listen to my fellow board members, listen to the community, listen to the administration, listen to the teachers, and, and use that. And I think we usually, at the end of the day, usually come up with the best solution. Well, we do disagree. <laughs> Um, sometimes, but um, what's been great, we used to have these work study sessions all the time, which would be like two hours before our actual meeting, kind of a smaller, still open to the public, but in a smaller venue, and we sort of have actually moved those to our meetings so we can sort of have our debates, you know, during our meetings, and I think um, what happens when we disagree is we literally try to make our case, explain why, and once we recognize what, whatever way the vote goes down, and there have been three votes since I've been on the board that haven't been unanimous, you know what, once it's done, we support that vote because that's what we decided. We, none of us has any power individually. So really what we do is we try to state our position, why we feel the way we feel in a very respectful way. We take our vote and then we move on. Once in a while, Dan, you know, doesn't like to be on the losing end and he might make a few inappropriate comments, but <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. And you know what, and it's fun. We can really go at it too. And, we can really disagree. I mean, honestly, the way the board is made up at this moment, it's five very different people with different skill sets and different places that they're coming from. And so it, it takes work if you have a perspective that isn't shared by your, the rest of your board. But we are willing to do that work. And, you know, we all, at the end of the day, want the same things. You know, it's just a matter of how we get there. There have been a few 3-2 uh, votes in the last four years. Uh, and I have been on the losing end of a couple of those three two votes, in which Amy was still wrong. Um, <laughs> she started, so I had to go. But you know, the one thing, and I think you see it up here, is even when we disagree, we still respect each other. We still respect each other's approach and opinion. We don't have to agree 100% of the time. Matter of fact, I'm glad we don't, because then you have no healthy dialogue. And if you watch some of the meetings, some people go, gosh, you guys were pretty animated. Well, yeah, we're animated because we are passionate about our students succeeding. And if you saw us up there all going, all right, yeah, bye-bye, bye-bye, I would be really concerned. And at the end of the day, there's no one on the board, whether they vote for something I believe in or vote against something I believe in, that I don't respect and understand where they come from. And that's the important thing. And people in the community might disagree with us, but at the end of the day, Wherever the board decides to go, we need to, as not only a board, but as a community, to say, that's the best direction for, the, for our students, and let's all get behind it. And even on ones I, I'm on the losing end, of, I support, because that's the direction we've elected to go. Well, the role of the board is to really do what's best for our students. And when we're facing tough decisions, I'll go to our school community. And this is when it's really helpful to be a student for eight years. You really have a ton of teachers and a ton of parents and a ton and ton of students. So when I need to make these tough decisions, I'll go and I'll go talk to these teachers I know. I'll go and I'll go talk to these parents I know. And then I'll ask the students, students to comment. And I'll post poll, uh, polls on Facebook. And I will really work extra hard to get everybody's opinion on the issue. 